hungry kid. How old are we talking now? Like, I'm, well, I say, well, I just got out of prison, right? What did you I, go to prison for? I, I beat someone up with a hammer. Um, Talk to us about that. Let's jump into that. You can't just say right, that. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Well, I'll start, I'll start from the from the beginning. Start right? from the get-go. I was doing very well as an amateur boxer. Doing very, very well. Yeah. And I went out for a friend of mine's birthday. And I met some travelling lads that, that like, uh, they're real good friends of mine. Right? But they weren't invited to this party thing in London. So they were like, oh, stay with us. So me being me, I was like, I ain't going to leave them. I'm not just going to piss off and go and leave yeah. them. So I stayed. Then basically one of them's bird had been playing away with this with this lad, a fella called uh, Gassan Mohammed or whatever his name was. I guess we're throwing names up now. It right. is what it is. <laughs> well, well, listen, whatever, whatever the man's name was, uh, he... Um, they, them two had a fight, and to be fair, he done. Well, he, just a proper straight now. Yeah, he, he, fight, in, yeah, in the garage, and to be fair, he done him. Who he, done he, who? He, 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 he done my pal. I done him. He, yeah? he, he done. He done my pal. And all I done, and this I swear to God, all I done is said, "Stop, that's it, enough, done." Yeah. And I went to pick my pal up. Yeah, I went yeah. to pick him up, and as I went to pick him up, he kicked me in the face. So I've jumped up and like, I was one of them, like, I was a typical little gypsy kid. Like, I had like <laughs> rings on my hands and everything. And I literally let off a four shot combination on this fella. Yeah. And he's gone over. Gone, I thought, that's it, done. Like, done. It's done, kind of thing. So I'm taking Frank back to the motor. I'm, as I'm taking Frank to, to the motor, I'm, mind you, bearing in mind, I am blind, speechless, drunk. Yeah, okay, like, fair enough. <laughs> as I'm taking Frank to the motor, he's walked behind me and hit me with a belt over the head. But as I went into the car, into the car, but bearing in mind, he had like eight or nine of his pals and not one of them got out of the car. Fair enough. And this is, the, this is the, the thing about when people say they're your pal and they're not because they left that fella to die because I genuinely meant killing him. I, I genuinely meant killing him. Yeah, yeah. In, in the heat of the moment. He didn't die, did he? He didn't die, no. Okay, he, cool. he suffered some lifelong injuries, but... That is what it is. You don't go swimming and not get wet, do you? Fair enough. Um, it, it's a sad thing, really, when you think about it. I, and it's not big. It ain't, ain't clever. I, I'm, I'm not proud of it. It's just one of the things that just happened. I can't change it. So there's no, no point crying about it. Yeah, 100%. So he's caught me with this belt. I went into the front of the motor, but I was doing scrap at the time. Yeah. Scrap metal. And I used to have a big old ammo in the, in the front of the truck. What used to break to the break brass, them, yeah, ta yeah, yeah. brass taps off of the sinks, and my hands went straight on it, and I've just turned around and went stunk. I've hit him in the head. Right, and they, you know, these films when they say yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah. people hit people with hard blunt objects, and they go, Ding! like there's none of that at all. <laughs> like no, it just went. It felt like it hit nothing. Like I thought I missed him. Oh shit! I thought I missed him. I in his head as well. Yeah, in in the head. But the man was fitting, but I thought he was trying to get away. I thought I missed him and he's fell over. Oh, shit. So I just kept lumping him with it. How did you kill him? Like, this, this is the thing. I think the man like, died like three or four times. But what saved me was, right. what saved me was they couldn't prove that I had done the life threatening injuries. And I'd, it was see that I weren't out to kill you. Like, it, it got put across. Like, I, I was just. In shock, I, it, it, that, that's what I said, and that's what I stand by as well. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I didn't know what the man's hit me with. I just, you just got to take me out, and I just turned around hand. and went, dunk. Like, I didn't even know who hit me. For all I knew, it was one of his pals. Oh, uh, then, so obviously, when you're, he's on the floor. Yeah, then the other, my pals grabbed the hammer off me. I thought he was trying to save me, and then he, he went at him with it as well. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, so we... They handed out, they handed out uh, 16 years between the, between the three of us. Three of you, yeah? Yeah, between the three of us, because his brother was there as well. I think his brother had a go at him. I think his brother had done his kneecaps and whatever not in. Um, so anyway, went away from there. Then I thought myself... How, long, you, how long was you inside for? Three years. I was three inside, years? I was inside for three years. Because they couldn't... Bro, the other two boys had previous for, for stuff. I, I was a young 17-year-old boy. Never been in trouble before. I swear on my three kids now. The woman said to me, the, the, the CID lady said to me, I'll never forget this. She went, I'll see you in nine years. My heart dropped. My heart dropped because it was sentencing day, but I took a plea bargain. Right? I, I, I said, 
do it. My pal looked up, he said, I take the blame for everything because it's over me and whatever. And I, I said, no, I said, listen, we're all here, we're all in it. It yeah. is what it is. We, I ain't going to go away and let you you do it or, or I'm going to take it all. We said, listen, I said, we'll just see what they chuck us as a bargain. There's no getting away from what we've done. Mm -hmm. So we'll just see what they chuck us as a bargain. And, and go from there. And we'll go from there. But bearing in mind, at the time, they were all caught on remand. I was on oh, my toes. Were, okay, okay, I, okay. I, I, I was gone. I, I was gone. I was like, right. If, if they get sentenced, <laughs> if they get sentenced, I'm, I'm off. I'm gone. But um, yeah, I boxed away through a tournament in, um, and I was meant to be fighting on, on TV oh, as an amateur. And I thought to myself, I can't box in these little navvy shorts from the club. I thought I've got to go home and get me shorts. I had like all these yeah, like yeah. badges and whatever not on them. So I thought to myself, right, I'll sneak home. So, so you're on the run at the minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on the run. Okay, I thought yeah. I'd sneak home, get me shorts. Got pulled up. Got pulled up by the old bill. Uh, they've grabbed hold of me. Said, told me something about the matter. We're just going to check your your um oh, shit. your details. Everything seems fine. A couple of minutes you've been right. I thought I'm gone. I thought that's it. They don't even want me. Like uh, about eight arm response pulled round the corner opposite Hatfield train station. I mean, I've never seen. They stood there with these guns, but it was raining. It was in November. And uh, they've got these guns. Uh, they went to get like turn them to get down on the ground. And a big puddle there. And I was like, mate, I come with you. I'm not laying down. I said, you can shoot me. I said, but you got no reason to shoot yeah, me. I yeah. said, look. I said, I'll stand here. I said, take me. I said, it's fine. So anyway, long story short, I never see daylight until obviously I got out. I, I finished my sentence.